Well, hello everybody. This is Silver Stacker in training. And uh, I mentioned in the last video that I was going to do some um, a series of more videos that um, show specifically certain areas of my collection to talk about. And uh, the first place I'd like to go today is uh, my bars, the different bars I have. And uh, the, I guess this is one of the first things that had attracted me once I started looking into it. I had, the first thing I did was I saw uh, an ad on the back of a um, magazine. Um, and it said it would give you a free um, round of silver, one ounce silver if you made a certain purchase. So I went ahead and did it, and uh, but before it came in, which took a long time, uh, this little bar right here I had ordered from a place in, in England. And uh, it had come in, believe it or not, before the other one did. And then, uh, and it's that is just a nice, it's a 10, 10 ounce, but, well, 500 grams, I'm sorry. But it's... Um, it's pretty heavy, and um, that one uh, started my interest uh, more so, piqued my interest in picking up other more additional silver. But um, once I started um, building up my stack, I really was getting into... Um, the bars, and um, since then I've acquired a few different types. You know, these 10 ounce, 10 ounce is probably the favorite amongst uh, stackers because they're easy to stack, and, and of course it's 10 ounces. Um, that's not too heavy, and you can stack them on top of each other pretty easily. Uh, well, you're supposed to be able to, and um, so they don't take up as much space. Uh, one of the bars I got, I was real disappointed in this one right here. I, uh, when I ordered it, of course, the one I saw was, um, nice and shiny and no scratches or anything. When I got this in, it was just scratches and milk spots and all that you're looking at right there. Now, it, it was so disappointing, and I, I was going to send it back, but I thought, no, I just, you know, you just, I don't have confidence. I won't say who it was, but I do buy some things still from them, but um, proof-like is not one of them. Um, I had a lot of problem with my buffaloes, too, uh, all clouding up my proofs on those proof light uh there's that nine uh fine mint that's uh 10 ounces right there that's a really nice bar i keep it in the box so this one here is one of the first items only items no i take that back i've been several times but this is the first item i purchased from a independent uh silver and gold coin shop and uh, I just really like that. And while I was there, I also picked up another one. And I'm going to slide down here to it real quick. Pass these other 10 ounces up. And it was this one right here. Uh, I saw that and had to have it. Um, I think I paid around 900 for it. But uh, this is several months back. But since then, I've... Uh, gotten quite a few um of the 10 ounce these are eight ounce right here or you know they're 250 grams and um you can see these canadian mint uh, you can see the tip of a hundred bar i'll get to those in a minute these are my singles right here this one has a story behind it I misread the ad, uh, well, not ad, but the uh, 
eBay uh, information on it. It was it was in with ten ounces, and so I was uh, the price of silver had been going down, and uh, it was amongst the ten ounces that were all running at that time about. 25, 25.50 a, a piece, two, I'm sorry, um, 250, 255 each. And I saw this one, I thought, man, that one's really cool. So I, I put in a bid for it at 250. Well, lo and behold, it's a one ounce. And needless to say, I was the only one who bid on it. It certainly was not the um, seller's fault. It was my fault. And... Uh, <laughs> But I like it. It's really cool. It takes me back. I said before, I'm 64. So back when I was um, in my teens and early 20s, uh, we used to do the CB radios all the time. That's That was our way of communicating, like, similar, I guess, to our cell phones today. And uh, another one I have over here is this one. Oh, I'm sorry. First, let me show you this one. This one's really cool. This one's from DT Mint, and I read about them in a magazine. And so I looked, and they had this particular one was for sale. So um, I ordered it, and it didn't come in, and I called them wanting to know why, basically. And I talked to the owner, and he said that, that he didn't know why that site was even on. They had turned it off a while back. But anyway, he sent this to me, and... It's actually, uh, as you can see, let me focus, if it will focus. It's, it, anyway, it's number six of 495 minted. And that's a lion in her cub right there. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that that is something else. Uh, you, unfortunately, every time I put it, you can see the proof like, and you end up seeing me behind it, the camera. And this one here, the little story behind it too, it's not so much the story behind it, but what it represented. And this is when Nixon went to China uh, uh, for the first pe uh, peace talks. And it was the first time we'd been to China, I think in years, if, the, if it wasn't the first time for us to go to China. And uh, my uncle, I have an uncle that flew B-52s in Vietnam. And uh, when he came back to the States... He was stationed at Andrews Air Force Base, and he became one of the navigators on the Air Force One. And he happened to be the navigator on the Air Force One when that trip to China took place. So um, I'll always remember that, and it's, I'm sure it's a story that our family will remember for a while. Uh, he's now in his... 80s and but still alive and just just a great man very proud of my relatives that were in the military uh and a lot of them were um anyway i've got some uh, vintage as well uh this one right here it, i think i believe this was actually uh minted by uh jm uh, Johnson uh, Matthew, which is one of these bars right here, and I've got some more bigger ones that I'll show you in a second. But um, I've got these right here, the J&M, this from Republic National Bank of New York, and then over here I have an Englehard, which are really nice. I love their bigger bars too. Um, here's the Wall Street Squeeze, and I actually have, I think, another one. Turned around. I do somewhere at least. Oh, here it is, right here. And uh, then, of course, here's another mintage. The Worldwide Mint. I don't think they're in business any longer. I, I, well, I know they're not. But um, that's pretty cool. And I got a really good price on it, too. Uh, makes up, I guess, maybe a little bit for some of these I wanted to pay a lot more for. Anyway, we get over here, and uh, I have my kilo bars. You can see them right here. Um, of course, this one's five 500 grams. 
not a thousand, but um, these are my kilo, which is a nice bar. I really like those. And then I have a, a 50 ounce bar over here. That one is uh, JM as well. And next to it is a 100 ounce JM. And next to it over here, I have my OPM Metals 100 bar. This is my very first one. And uh, it's it really feels heavy. I mean, I know it's the same as the others, but because it's so condensed there, it just feels so heavy. And I've got, um, I have the Swiss 100 ounce bar and the Royal Canadian Mint bar. Both of those are really nice. Uh, you know, there's just something about those 100 ounce bars. Um, certainly wouldn't want to walk around with them every day, but there is something that's really nice about them. But th that's my bars. This, these are the bars I've collected. Um, I did have some more um, 10 ounce bars that um, I ended up trading um for them they were just i can't even remember i think they were sunshine mint and um i think i had 10 of them uh and i ended up trading and i can't remember for the life of me right now what it was i traded for them i forgot about the bars themselves it was a while back so this is Silver Stacker and Training. I really do appreciate y'all coming in and, and reviewing these videos. Um, leave me a like or and subscribe to my channel if you wouldn't mind. Or comment. Either way, um, I'd love to hear from you. And y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you later.